Hi and welcome to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my Burstcoin mining setup. Um, here you can see uh, this is the monitor that's attached to the, the desktop that I use for Burstcoin mining. Um, I've got a mixture of internal and external drives. You can see a couple of old USB um, notebook drives there. There's some of the internal drives you can see through the, the case there. And here's the two um, main USB 3 hubs for my uh, main drives which are eight five terabyte Seagate expansion drives so there's the just the power supplies for them there so I'm gonna uh, jump onto a screen grab and talk a little bit more about it now so this is just a, a screencast from my burst coin mining desktop that we saw in the video just now um, as you can see um, I'm also running the uh, nice hash miner um, if you mine in for burst coin, it doesn't use a huge amount of um, CPU or GPU power. So you can uh, mine other stuff at the same time, maybe Ethereum or, or Zcash uh, or something like that. I've actually got the nice hash miner right, running um, at the same time because the machine's got to be on 24/7 anyway. So it makes sense, and <clears throat> it's only excuse me, it's only making three dollars seventy a day, but you know that pays probably for the electricity for maybe my amp miner and, and this machine as well. So I'll just minimise that out of the way. So you can see here, this is um, Blago's um, burst coin. This is a CPU miner. Um, you can see it's doing the work here. Whenever you find a new block, you get one of these little blue bars pops up and then it uh, cycles through all the hard drives, which you can also see in this window here, um, looking for downloads. And then when it finds downloads, it, it sends them. Um, quite luckily, it's just literally found a new block as I've been talking there. So you can see, it's now currently scanning through the hard drives. It's found the, the first block, which is a three day block, it's quite a long one. Um, but it's found that one and it's submitted that and it's just cycling through the rest of the hard drives at the moment. And then in the Explorer window here, you can see the actual hard drives that I've got. Uh, I've currently got um, obviously the main C drive, which is used by the computer, but then I've got 14 additional drives um, that I'm actually kind of running. Five of those, so D, E, F, and G, oh, actually, sorry, four of those are um, internal drives. Um, so they came out of old NASes and, and old machines. I've just kind of plugged those in and uh, into the SATA um, slots on the motherboard. Um, so they're internal drives. H and I are two uh, USB 2, very small, one terabyte sort of uh, laptop external hard drives that are powered by the USB ports. They're only one terabyte drives, and um, if we can see them on the H and I over here, um, you can see they're quite slow to read from. So it's 18, about 18 megabytes a second. Um, it was 18 megabytes a second on the previous block as well. So they're quite slow to to read from, but it was an extra kind of couple of terabytes, and I, I plugged them in right at the beginning, um, just give myself a bit of space before I bought all these Seagate expansions. But the main um, uh, hard drive spaces from these Seagate expansion drives. They're five terabyte drives. Uh, I've got eight of them plugged into um, two USB 3 uh, hubs. Um, something I found is that, uh, I'm not sure if it's the number of drives, but as I plugged the last two or three in um, and started to kind of plot and mine from them, I occasionally um, lose a drive or the machine kind of locks up. And I don't know if that's because um, it's overloading the old USB system uh, I only had two USB 3 ports on this motherboard. So what I've done um, after watching the iMind Blocks um, recent video is get a USB 3 PCI uh, e-card. Um, that should be here today and then I'll plug that in and I'll run some of the drives from that in order to increase the throughput. So it should be a bit faster and hopefully a little bit more stable um, then as well. Um, I've currently got about 40 terabytes, 40 and a half terabytes um, plotted and mining on. Um, the drives M and Q aren't completely plotted yet. Basically what I do is um, I plot the drives and then I go back and optimize those plots. And in order to optimize a plot, you need enough space to generate the optimized plot. So I always leave the last hard drive um, with free space on it and then I go back and I re... So M um, has had all its plots optimized. I need to copy the last one back over to it. That's why there's a gap there. And then N, O and P, um, a run up optimized plot, so I'll, I'll run through and I'll optimize those, copy the optimized plots over to replace the original ones, and then I'll finish potting up um, the final drive there. But um, by the time I finish, it should be somewhere in the region of 42, 43 terabytes, I think. Um, the reason I optimize um, is 
and you can see that down here. So you can see um, some of these drives here and the later drives are all the Seagate expansion drives. I'll just wait for this, <laughs> it's just found a new block. Um, so I'll just wait for that to kind of scroll up and then I can show you some real time figures from that. But basically um, it increases the speed of scanning through the blocks if they're optimized. Um, and I'm seeing about a 20% increase from unoptimized plots to uh, optimized plots. So I think 20% increase is well worth doing. You only have to do it one once and then uh, they're done. But um, yeah, it, it's finding blocks really quickly at the moment, which is uh, which is kind of great. But um, but also it's, it's a little bit difficult to, to show you what I mean about the optimized and, and unoptimized plots. But basically, um, looking back over the, uh, the few blocks before I did this video, I'm seeing an average on the Seagate drives about 30 megabytes a second read speed um, with the unoptimized box, and that goes up to about 37 megabytes. So it's about a 20% increase. So it's it's well worth having. You only have to, to do it once. Okay, so um, I hope that's been helpful. Um, lastly, um, I'm not going to do a um, a mining performance or sort of like profit video for um, April or May, just because. Um, in April, I was only just starting with kind of mining. I only had some of these external drives here in the system. Um, and then in May, I got uh, my first um, expansion drives and the last four, I've, I've just had about a week and I've been plotting those over the last week. So um, June will be the first month where it will be almost, you know, at my kind of like kind of capacity, which is about 42 terabytes. It, the, you know, this first week will be a little bit less. We're down at about you know, 39, 40, but it will be more indicative of, of what you can earn. But just in case you are interested, in April 2017, I made uh, 7,230 burst, I mined, and then in May, um, I mined um, 18,974. So I went from sort of 7,000 to 19,000 um, burst. But as I said, I was plotting drives sort of bit by bit throughout that. I can't remember exactly which dates, which drives were finished. So um, it, there's no point really doing a you know a thorough analysis of, of the sort of the profit over those kind of months. But um, obviously, I have seen you know as you increase capacity, obviously the, the mine rewards have increased. But um, I hope that's been useful. It's just a very quick um, overview of my first mining setup and. Um, I do plan to increase capacity again, maybe over the next kind of month or so. I'd like to go from sort of around the 40 um, terabyte marks. I'd like to get maybe up to kind of 80 terabytes, maybe 80 to 100 terabytes by maybe by the end of the year or, or certainly over the next sort of few months, you know, get to that sort of 60 to 80 terabytes and then maybe see how it is. But I'll need some more USB 3 hubs. I, I want to see how the uh, PCIe cards perform because I could always put a, another one of those in to, to create a bit more throughput on the uh, USB uh, drives. So hope that's been helpful. Um, I will um, hopefully see you again soon. If that's been interesting to you, please subscribe or, or leave me a comment, ask me any questions, and um, I hopefully I will see you on the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.